doğunuktur düşlerin de o. Thank you for accepting to have this talk on such a short notice. Yeah, Azerbaijan really is the home of mud volcanoes in the world. It uh, has more than any other country. Now, what is a mud volcano is the other sort of question you ask, which is, so a mud volcano is very different to your normal volcano. Your normal volcano is what we call a magmatic volcano. It erupts molten rock and ash, so lava, molten rock and ash, and it's due to the extremely high temperatures that you can get uh, underground. Um, a mud volcano is a very, very different feature. It's where rather than molten rock erupting, we have highly pressured uh, mud, basically water mixed with rock and clays and sand um, that, that erupts out of the ground. And that's formed rather than from heat underground, they're mostly due, and particularly the ones in Azerbaijan, are due to very high pressures that occur in the fluids that are in the little gaps between the rocks, the grains and the rocks. That water gets trapped underground and can form extremely high pressures. And occasionally that pressure can build up so high uh, that it can erupt and release violently in, as, a, as a sort of mud volcano eruption that we saw overnight. Look, Azerbaijan has so many mud volcanoes that can erupt just like this. And it also has a lot of oil and gas industry, huge oil and gas industry about one of the oldest in the world, far older than the US's industry. Um, and so, of course, you know, that, you know, oil industry accidents can also cause similar sort of fireballs. So all we really knew from the start was that some large fireball had happened in the Caspian Sea at some un uncertain location. There was a lot of uncertainty exactly where it had occurred as well. Um, so, yeah, we gradually started sleuthing that down mm -hmm. and trying to understand where it was. And, you know, there was there was a lot of um, people saying that mud volcanoes don't erupt like that, but in, that was that is wrong, they really do. Um, where we started getting certainty was when we, um, some of my friends on Twitter start pointed me to some satellite imagery uh, that NASA and NOAA have updates on thermal images. So they, they recognize when there's thermal anomalies. So from their satellites, they can, they can tell when there's uh, unusual increases in thermal and heat in various spots in the world. We also have a few places in the world where mud volcanoes have been created by oil accidents, by blowouts from oil drilling and gas drilling. Uh, some of those have been quite devastating and caused large uh, damage to, to, um, to cities and towns. Um, but in this instance, I think we just treat this as a natural event that just happens every so often in Azerbaijan. The pressure builds 
and then it is released violently in these sort of spectacular fireballs. Uh, and then, you know, every so often it happens again. So the last, this particular mud volcano that erupted last night, that had previously erupted in 1920. So 19, yeah, 1920 and 1945. You know, every, every few decades, you find these mud volcanoes, you know, each of these mud volcanoes will just let go. I mean, it may have another few burps of, of you know, it may, it may erupt again. You know, it does, these, these sometimes do happen that you have one burst and then, you know, another one breaks through a little bit later. But I wouldn't worry too much about this. The long way from sort of anyone's place, it's not, you know, near anyone. The island is uninhabited. Um, so it's not a, not a really big, it's not a safety risk to anyone. The, the bigger worry, I guess, in Azerbaijan is that, you know, you have so many mud volcanoes onshore, but mm -hmm. Azerbaijan does a very good job of keeping people generally away from this. There tends to be less building near the major concerning mud volcanoes.